Hello friends, welcome back to the item guru IT asset management training YouTube channel and I would like to appreciate your support for watching my all previous sessions. In today's session, we are going to discuss one of the important topic which is IT asset acquisition or the purchase of IT asset. As we all know, it's really important to keep a track of all the assets those are purchased within our organization. It's really required to keep a track on asset baseline or stock which is available within our organization and based on the stock availability item professional needs to do the forecasting and we will have to pro uh, per, like take a further call to coordinate with the purchase team to purchase the new additional assets and it's really important to understand the life cycle of asset acquisition or here we are going to discuss specifically procurement of IT asset be it hardware asset or software asset so whenever there is need of or shortfall of hardware asset ham team used to play a important role by doing forecasting or evaluating the need and based on the requirement they they have to coordinate with the purchase team to purchase the required hardware asset the same way whenever there is shortfall of software licenses in that situation SAM team used to coordinate with procurement team or acquisition team in order to purchase the additional software licenses. So let's discuss the way purchase team used to purchase the asset, what are the aspects needs to be understand because in order to achieve the SLA which is set by our organization, it's really important to understand the different phases and the flow of software acquisition or the software purchase process so without wasting time we are going to start but before start the discussion i would like to request you all to do subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and feel free to share this learning session with your friends it may help them to boost up their career so let's begin guys so as we all know IT asset is playing very important role in each and every organization in each and every sector because it involves cost and whenever it comes to money your management will focus more on that piece because we are paying for it and we are trying to make value of it and management is interested to understand how much we are spending where we are spending how we are tracking and what is going to be the outcome of it so item professional are playing that role in it asset acquisition or it asset purchase coordination process because item professional and the acquisition team needs to work very close they have to coordinate with each other and based on the coordination review and the demand they have to proceed for purchasing the assets so while purchasing the asset it's very important to do the review and understand the actual requirement or the business requirement for the IT asset be it hardware or be it software we should understand how many assets are required so that we can plan for purchase we can coordinate with procurement team we will try to understand from which business unit we have the requirement which cost center is associated with it what is going to be the corporate unit 
and based on that we have to tag the purchase to the specific cost center in order to understand the spend which our organization has done for that specific cost center so that activity needs to be done by the item professional if it's hardware purchase ham team will take care of it if it's software purchase then sam team will take care of it the first and most important step is going to be the review of actual business requirement next to that once we complete the review and we will finalize the requirement to the procurement team we as an item professional so once we have done the review and confirm the required quantity to the procurement team procurement team will start working on creating the po based on our requirement because they know how many laptops we need from like from where to buy it they know what are the listed vendors those are available within our organization and based on that they will create po to highlight our requirement and once po got created they will start evaluating the vendor they will ask multiple vendors to share the quotation that is rfq it's kind of request for quotation once we have requested the quotation then team will do the evaluation which vendor is going to be the best for our organization and once evaluation phase is completed we will have to finalize the vendor and in order to finalize the vendor we will have to understand the few criterias which vendor is delivering better services which vendor delivering on time services because there should not be impact on business if there is any issue any problem happens with our asset vendor should be ready there by 24 by 7 to support you so that there will not be any impact on business and based on this criteria vendor finalization is one of the very important topic which is taken care by the acquisition team of our organization because each and every organization is having their white listed top 5 vendor or top 10 vendor and among that they will request quotation to all of them and based on their price their level of service their proactiveness to resolve your query the how much they are supportive so based on multiple factors the purchase team will take a call and they will finalize the vendor so once vendor got finalized we will have to do the negotiation in terms of price in terms of services and i think negotiating the price one of the very important or the key role which is getting played by the procurement team or acquisition team team of your organization i really would like to appreciate the efforts of procurement team or purchase team to doing negotiation because i like the cost saving and this is the way to help our organization to save some cost and support our business to reduce the cost so negotiation will completely depend on the power which is hold by the procurement team or acquisition team and this is one of the sparking point where your organization will get one chance to reduce the cost so i really appreciate the way acquisition team or purchase team doing the negotiation and reducing the cost of product I, everybody likes to reduce the cost or purchase the product on cheap price or lower price so whatever the possible negotiation is there that acquisition team will do it and once negotiation is completed 
then we will have to work on authorizing the invoice whatever the price has been finalized we will have to initiate the invoice we have to authorize the invoice in order to do the payment and once it got authorized then finance team needs to take further step and they will have to make the payment and once payment confirmation is received you will have to make sure that whatever the assets you have ordered or procured it it's in your custody it's at your organization but at the time of receiving item team needs to play, play a very important role when it come to especially hardware asset ham professional needs to validate and verify this condition of received asset we will have to confirm that if received assets are fully packed nothing has been damaged we received the quantities whatever we have ordered there is no mismatch in quantity so by validating and verifying all these aspects ham professional whoever is in charge or assets in charge to receive the asset they have to sign that receiving copy once then the validation so it's kind of proof you got the asset whatever is ordered by our organization the same way we have for software as we all know uh, there is nothing like physical receiving for software uh, as we will be getting the proof of purchase or the invoice copy as you are going to be the legal user who can use that software so there is no physical receiving when it comes to the software we will have to maintain and manage all the purchase proof whatever we are getting by ordering the product or by purchasing the product so legal documents needs to be received when it comes to the software purchase now when, let's say we have received we have received the goods i mean we receive the requested or purchased asset at your doorstep you have done validation and verification now the next step is we will have to maintain the artifacts or the contracts document po document or the uh, bom that is your bill of material that needs to be maintained because when it comes to the audit we should be have some artifacts or legal document which can prove that you are the one who is legal user or legal person and you are authorized to use that product in order to avoid the audit risk it's really recommended to maintain your all the purchase legal artifact or the document in centralized and secure repository of your organization so i would like to finally give one recommendation guys over here it asset management team and procurement team are working together they are working like hand in hand in order to purchase the asset based on their coordination they can buy right product for your organization so respect your procurement team and item team the way they are doing some cost saving for your organization i feel they should get rewarded their effort should get appreciated so here i would like to appreciate the efforts of all procurement specialist and item specialist whoever doing doing the great job for for their organization i hope you people understood the flow or the process of it asset acquisition be it hardware asset or be it software asset it's really important to understand this flow in order to do the effective acquisition or the product purchase management thank you so much guys we are good for today we'll come with another topic in next week next week i hope you all enjoyed it and at last i would like to request if you have not subscribed to my channel please feel free to do it we'll see you in next session 
बाय बाय